Oh, you have to see people. Hello. That I'm not telling the truth. I know you know it, but just don't have any. Eh, 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 eh. There we go. You think there's gonna be fine? I guess we'll find out. Whoa. Move with was. Oh, you pick up object. I have an object. Inspecting objects. Yep, that's a mug. Okay, do I need to stay crouching? Or, or no? Hold and move it. Oh. Uh, oh, ooh. Oh, uh, can I help you? Nice radium clock. Oh, God, okay. off getting killed about the huge oh where am i let's do right, the chicks right. let's get through this all righty this is your captain speaking really peggy Come that's cringe on, let's have a bit of fun with it for once buckle in folks we're about to hit some tubular rents. let's start with record playing <sighs> okay grab a record stick it on the player and hit play easy 19 a nine one numbers and an X. Uh, Forrest, you need to grab a record and stick it on the turntable. Shut up. I'm looking for a cool one. Crying for help? Play. Got it. Great. Now turn it off. Okay. <laughs> Sound blaster next. That's an easy one. Is it- is it an easy one? What does that mean? Okay, you're live in three, two... 189.16 I think I passed out, actually. Good evening, Gallows Creek! This is your host, Forrest Nash, and you're listening to 189.16, The Scream. Before we start taking your calls tonight on Gallows Creek's only late-night phone-in talk show, I need to let you know about a special competition we have for you this evening. <sighs> Guess that scream. Here's how it works. I'm gonna play you a scream, then you call and... Guess that scream. We need you to guess why they're screaming. Did they stub their toe, saw off a finger, or discover the corpse of a loved one? We'll play that scream in just a second. Listen close, and then call in to... Guess that scream. Peggy, what do you mean, play the tape? I just have a tape guy do that for me. You're not in Chicago anymore, Forrest. Here in Gallows Creek, you get to be your own tape guy. Come on, I gave it to you yesterday. Forrest, you do have the tape right. You knew we were doing this tonight. Peggy, let's be real. Guess that scream is a terrible idea. No, I, I don't have the tape. It may be a stupid idea, but that doesn't mean it can't be fun. We're going to need a scream tonight, Forrest, and you're the one at the mic, so... I hate what I've become. I used to go out all across America, and now I'm just screaming into a mic in a backwater town. Jesus. Come on, Forrest, just do it. That's enough dead air already. Just think of a scream and let it rip. Oh, God. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm back. I had to step away there for a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. Um. <laughs> uh, let's go with the falling off a cliff scream. <sighs> well, folks, there you have it. Call in with your guesses, and if you get it right, you could win 
two tickets to the amazing Maze Maze and one free fried dough. Fried dough? Just call in at 555-239-KFAM with your guest. Now, here's some music while you get dialing. Hope you enjoy this one as much as I do. Oh, God, Forrest, that was amazing. <laughs> Thanks. I can't wait to hear what people think that was. <laughs> How the hell did I get into this mess? Lighten up, Forrest. That's going to be the highlight of my week. Oh, Forrest, there's a call coming in. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Um, I thought there was a call. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream. Caller, you're talking to Forrest Nash. What's going on with you tonight? Forrest, thank God I made it through. My name is Leslie Harper. I'm the 911 operator and police dispatcher for Gallows Creek. Slow night. Leslie, I guess it must be a slow night for crime if you've got time to call in. What can we do for you? Slow night? Forrest, I found a body. I need help. Forrest, I recognize her voice. I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. I think this is real. Peggy, I'm not going to be happy if this is a prank. I don't do prank segments on my shows. It's in my contract. Forrest, I really don't think this is a prank. Leslie, if you're telling the truth, you should report this to the sheriff. What was his name? Sheriff Andrews or whatever? I'm at the sheriff's office right now. Wait, what? Sheriff Matthews is dead. Oh no. What? Sheriff Matthews is dead? Not Sheriff Matthews. I couldn't get any response from the department. That's never happened before, so I came to the station and I found him. What's left of him? Oh god, poor Sheriff Matthews. Do you know what happened to him? Someone got him. Someone got up very close and... I really don't want to say what they did to him. Did he fight back? I don't know. I think he tried. He's surrounded by bullet casings. I think he tried to shoot at whoever it was, but... Where are the other officers? I don't, I don't understand. Where are the other officers? Do they know? No. I checked everywhere. Deputy Martinez is here, but she's knocked out, tied up, and locked in a holding cell. I called you right after I found her. God, wait. Please don't tell me that this hick town only has two cops. Don't be ridiculous. We have three. But <laughs> Officer Gunderson is on leave in Cancun. Ooh, Cancun. Leslie you, Leslie, you need to call over to Henderson or Quiet Ridge. They need to send someone over from their department. I tried, but I can't call anything but local numbers. Something's wrong. I'll have to go there myself. Let them know what's going on and bring help back with me. But if you leave while there's a murderer on the loose, who's gonna man the emergency line? That's why I called. Forrest, I've routed all 911 calls to come in to you. You did that fast, god dang. You can count on me. You can count on me. Uh, I'll do what I can. Thank you, Forrest. Forrest with You're two the only R's. You're person with experience manning a phone line around here. You're the only person equipped for the job. Hell, let's have some on-the-job training right now. I have an emergency. I need to get an unconscious Deputy Martinez out of that holding cell. It looks like whoever attacked her threw the keys into the cell after they locked the door. Is there any way you can reach the keys? No. There aren't any bars to the cell. And the door itself only has a food tray slot. And that's too narrow for me to reach through. There's gotta be another way in. Mm hmm Oh. Um. Find There's gotta be set? another set of keys somewhere in that office. Those can't be the only one. Of course. Yes, there must be another set. Where might another set be? the most logical choice maybe sheriff matthews had a set of keys on him when he you know 
I couldn't see any at a glance, but I didn't really look up close. One second. My bad. Oh, I think I might be sick. Sorry, Sheriff. I'm just gonna turn you over and... Ugh. Please don't stare at me. I... Oh, wait. That might be them. I, 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 th I think I got the cell keys. Good, Looks good. Looks like Sheriff Matthews might have saved his deputy. Do the keys work? They do! Give me a minute to untie Deputy Martinez. I'll be right back. So far, so good, I suppose. How are you feeling, Forrest? I... I swear to God, Peggy, if this is some sort of joke, I'm leaving this town. I've never heard of anything like... like this happening in broadcast. I've never heard about anything like this either. But we're here now, Forrest, and we've just got to see what happens next. Come on, Martinez. There we go. I'm just gonna sit you in your office chair. I'll head to my car in a minute. I'm back. Deputy Martinez is still out cold. I'm taking her in the car with me to get help in Henderson. If the killer came back now, Martinez would be a sitting duck. Oh. Um, it's the right thing to do. That's a good idea. We don't want to take any risk right now. Thank you, Forrest. You and Peggy just worked together like you did earlier. You can do this. Now I'll be back as soon as I can. Leslie? What? My car! My car is on fire! What do you mean it's on fire? Put it out! Hell? Did it just go up in smoke? What happened? Wait. What? You're way too chill about your car no being. Way. This can't. Well, Forrest, we have big trouble. Uh oh. What's happening? Uh, what's that noise? It sounds like whistling. Whistling? It can't be. Oh my god. I can see him, but he's dead, right? Right? But that mask and how the hell is he? Who, Leslie? Who? Leslie? The whistling man. The whistling man? <laughs> Who's the whistling man? Real he was original. A killer back in the 50s. Wore that mask. But he's dead. He's What the hell? Oh god. Do you think Do you think he attacked Sheriff Matthews and Deputy Martinez? Yeah, probably. He's coming this way. Uh oh Lock the block the doors. Leslie, stay inside and lock the doors. Right. Uh, take a police cruiser. There should be police cruisers at the sheriff's office, right? Like, you should take one of those. I, yeah, yeah, that could work. Let me check if Martinez has any, uh, just reach into your pocket there, deputy, and yes, got him. Keys for squad car three. I saw that parked out front when I got here. Nice one, Forrest. Good thinking. But wait. How am I supposed to get us to the car? Damn, you're asking the good questions. Is right there. Uh, the Sheriff Matthew, Deputy. No, because he still is. Surely carries a gun, right? Could you use that? Deputy Martinez's gun is missing. I guess the whistling man must have done something with it. The sheriff must have a gun, right? Can Can you see it? There was a gun next to him. Let me grab it. It's probably out of bullets. I. Oh, shit! It's empty. No, he must really? have emptied it trying to defend himself. Peggy, way to get sad. Uh, is there a lot? <laughs> this one. Are, are there any other weapons lying around that you could use? I didn't see anything earlier. Um, uh, let me check Deputy Martinez's belt. Leslie, chill. I didn't see anything earlier. All right. Leslie? Okay. It looks like the whistling man left her with a baton, pepper spray, and taser. I can only hold one if I'm carrying Deputy Martinez. Which should I take? Uh, take the baton. I take the baton. You can always trust a beating stick. Yep. Got it. I'm just going to grab Deputy Martinez and then... Wait. Do you hear that? No. No. I, I can't hear anything. Exactly. It's gone quiet. No more knocking. Be careful. Be careful. I don't like it. Me neither. But it 
it's an opening, and I've got to take it. Maybe I should have had her take okay. something else. Deputy Martinez, if you can hear me, it's time to move. But in my head, I was like, the pepper spray, he's wearing a mask. Army. Yep. There you go. Are you sure about this, Leslie? No time like the present, right? So, here we go. Again, you're hooked into dispatch now, so I should be able to radio you when I reach the car. If I reach it. <sighs> Speak to you soon. Leslie, don't get killed. Good luck, Leslie. Good luck, Leslie. Bye, Leslie. <sighs> you know, I've got to say, this really wasn't what I expected when I came into work today. Well, they no always kidding. say you have to be ready for everything in live radio. Oh, I think we've got Leslie back on the line. I'm putting the call through. Okay. Hello? Forrest? Leslie! Peggy? This is Leslie. Are you there? Yes. Over. 10-4. That's a big 10-4 there, good buddy. I... I'm guessing you made it to the car then? Sorry about the CB chat. Old habit. But yes, we made it to the car. Deputy Martinez and the passenger seat still out cold. I don't see the whistling man anywhere, and I don't plan to wait for him. Then drive. So I'm going to get us moving. Go. Jesus. God damn it. Get, get back. Get away from her. Oh, the no. Whistling. Uh, drive. Leslie, go. Go. Martinez. God damn it. Uh, uh, Leslie, you need to hold it together right now. Forrest. He slit her throat. You need to get to Henderson, Leslie. We can't let this happen again. Peggy's right. We've all got our part to play now. I think I killed Leslie. How long do you think it's going to take to get help? Gallows Creek is a nowheresville, but it's pretty damn close. It's going to take a while, maybe two, three hours each way. Slightly less if I put my foot down. We'll do our best to keep everyone safe until then. Thank you. Just try to work together. Do what you can. All right, both I... I need a minute. I'll be out of range soon. I'll radio back as soon as I can, once I got the cavalry. Take care, Leslie. And be safe out there. Good luck, Leslie. <sighs> Folks, you heard it here. We've got a killer on the streets of Gallows Creek tonight. Please make sure to stay safe. And Leslie, we're counting on you. We're gonna get back to the show, meanwhile. If you have anything on your mind or have any information about this Whistling Man character, then give us a call. We'll talk here on 189.16, The Scream. For now, here's another hit record for you all to enjoy. Uh, uh, just... Thanks. I could take the whistling man in a fight. I could I could kill the whistling man. I think I killed Martinez and I feel kinda bad about it. Hello caller, you're live on 189.16, the scream. Is everything uh alright? Okay, uh, who is this? Are you uh hello? Hello? Uh, Okay, what's your name and why are you calling in? Whistling man, question mark. You know my name. I've come back from the dead to kill again. No one's safe. <laughs> Do you accept requests? I've got a list of names I'd love to see in the obituaries. Oh, maybe you must make a 
sacrifice to us. A sacrifice to us. I, I mean, me. We want cheese dusted pretzels. I mean, I want cheese dusted pretzels. Or I'll cut your face off. Sick prank, bro. We already have another caller on the line. All right, let's do this. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. What? I, I dialed 911. I need the sheriff right away. Okay, right. Well, I'm filling in for 911 tonight. What's your name and what's your trouble? I am the sheriff, Sandra. Is Sandra Sharp, and I need the cops now. You're talking to him. I am the sheriff's. I'm sorry, but the cops aren't coming. All of them. Leslie's on her way to Henderson for help. What? God. Listen, you've got to help me then. I drove to the edge of town for a jazz run, and now some psycho dressed like the whistling man is after me, knife in hand. Oh, God. It's actually happening. Sandra. What is a jazz run? I'm not for a jazz run. What? What is that? What is it? It's jazz running, baby. And I got my butt all the way back to my car before I got flashed. But I dropped my key somewhere along the way. I never locked the door. Because I've got a place to hide, but I can't get moving. Jazz run. I remember. Uh. Is there anywhere else you can go? Is there anywhere else you can go? Do you have any friends nearby? Well, I'm not going back out there. I... Sandra? Oh, shoot. Oh, he's back. Look, I don't know anything about cars. But I gotta start this engine without the keys. And you're gonna have to help me. Wait, wait, wait. I don't... Uh, if it helps, I've got a toolkit buried beneath my spare sweatbands. I'll call you back when I find it. Sandra. You're listening to 189.16, The Scream. Hosted by me, Forrest Nash, your friendly neighborhood radio host, mechanic, and savior. Sit tight while the record spins, folks. This one goes out to you, Sandra. Doesn't the station have a show about cars? The Tamora Twins or something? Timberline Twins Talk Motors. Yeah. You know they're not even brothers. Really? They look the same, though. I know, but they're not even related. Guys, it's weird. I have more important I things asked to deal them about with. about it once, and they got really sweaty and defensive. Anyway, go see what you can find. The offices are out the door and down the hall. On it. Out the door, down the hall. What exactly am I looking for? I don't know what I'm looking for. Maybe a screwdriver? Let's take the screwdriver. I think maybe we take the wrench. What that's gonna do, I don't know. Okay, it wasn't the screwdriver and it was not the wrench. What am I looking for? You know what? You know what? I'm taking all the mugs. That's right. You can't stop me if I get all the mugs. I think that's all the mugs from out here. Oh. You thought you could get away? You were wrong. Mug. This is very important. It's very, very important. Hopefully this lady does not die within the time it takes for me to get all of these mugs. This one has stuff in it. No. Maybe he left it in the bathroom.
This looks useful. Why can I not turn around? All those bathroom doors are now slamming shut and I, I really don't like that. Oh, right, I forgot about my mugs. Uh, hold on. Let's hold that for a sec. I've got more important things to attend to. Don't mind me raising a small army. It's fine. Normal. This is normal. Nothing about this is weird. Uh, perfect. Oh, I should have put them on the table. Why does this couch kind of sound like it's made of rock? I don't know. There's an uneven amount of mugs. Perfect. Oh, dude, best view in the house. Caller on line one. Thanks, Peggy. We're back with 189.16, The Scream. How are you holding up, Sandra? The creep's looking through the parking lot trying to find me. But I've got my tools, and I'm ready to get this hunk of junk moving. How do we start this baby? Um, use the screwdriver if it's a key start. Put the screwdriver in the ignition and twist clockwise. Here goes, baby. I, I, oh, screwdriver's too fat to fit. What next? Uh, remove the steering wheel column. Unscrew the steering column. Sandra, seek help. God. How long are these screws? Okay, covers off. Okay. There's a bunch of wires down here, all paired up, and oh god, my heart is pumping. Check the serial numbers, then strip and twist the following wires together. Tell me exactly what you see. What's the serial number on the steering column? The number is 576-894-320. It's strip and twist together the red and yellow wires. All right. We take the red and the yellow and we twist and we turn. Oh, perfect. I also see pink and purple wire. What next? Uh, strip the purple wire. Brush the purple wire against the twisted wires from strip three. Strip the purple wire and brush against the twisted wires. Okay, okay. We strip and we brush and. Oh, she's so stressful. Get home safe, Sandra. Will do, babies. Don't call me that. Well, I like it here. People are polite and. Uh, Stab happy. <laughs> Don't be awful, Forrest. Oh, I Come thought that was on, funny. <laughs> I guess some folks have been okay. You're not terrible after a while. Not terrible after a while? High praise coming from Forrest Nash. You know what I mean, Peggy. Am I flirting I with do. Peggy right now? It's Forrest Nash for I think you're swell. Anyway, I hope the killer is done for the night and that Leslie gets back soon. Me too. Oh. It's been 42 minutes. Caller on line one. Oh, my bad. Uh, hold up. First try. Sounds great, bro. And let me tell you, the pizza we have is to die for. Dude. Oh, 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 Brian. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, that didn't yeah, come out great. That didn't come out great. I'm sorry, Forrest. Well, 
I just hope I didn't put you or anyone else of coming on down to Porty's Pizza. We've got a great special this weekend. Our famous beer and pizza deal. Is this an ad? Wait a minute. Come on down to Porty's Pizza this weekend. You've just got to pay for one slice to get yourself. God damn it. You're just calling in to advertise your shop. Peggy, hang up on him. Done. Oh, real quick, before I forget, it's probably time we played a paid ad. Now, a word from our sponsors. You know how to play an ad, right? Sure. Of course. No. Um. Uh, 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 my bad. I meant this one? Sure. How do I put it in the thing? Time to play a commercial. Done. Do you seek ancient wisdom? Do you want to double your power? Are you ready to unlock your inner warrior for only $24.99? And karate love me. Call today. <laughs> Do people really buy this kind of thing? Don't pretend like you're not interested. I mean, I wouldn't buy them, but... I might watch them, I guess. Yeah, I bet karate love making sure is something. Uh, I, uh... <laughs> what was I doing? All uh, right. Welcome to The Scream with me, Forrest Nash. Yeah, Leslie. This is Maurice Russell from the Gallows Reporter. I'm at the office. This guy just broke in downstairs and... Wait. Forrest Nash? I want to speak to 911. Put Leslie on. What? God, another one? I am 911. I'm guessing Never mind. you've not been tuned in to our show tonight. Damn it, son. What does that have to do with anything? Just put me on with Sheriff Matthews. Sheriff Matthews is dead. Dead? What happened? Did you witness the incident? Are you willing to do an interview for the reporter? I can cite you as an anonymous source, if that's a concern. We're live on the air. Anything we say can and will be broadcast. Live on... Damn it. All right. There's obviously a lot more going on than I know. Yeah, you, there's a lot happening tonight. You said someone broke in. That's nothing to get worked up about. Some idiot kid just broke in. Dressed as the whistling man. <laughs> Teens. They get worse every year. Uh, this punk wasn't even a disappointing twinkle in his daddy's eye when Edward Marshall Mooney stalked the town. But I was there. I covered it. You don't understand. That's not a prankster. That's the whistling man. Of course it's not. It's a stupid kid. Every year this happens. They think it's funny. Not a big deal, old man. But they didn't live through the terror 30 years ago. Anyway, I know for a fact. Edward Marshall Mooney is dead. I don't know who I'm looking at on the security monitor. But if he killed Sheriff Matthews... Where are you now? I'm in the boardroom. Upstairs. We got security cameras all around the building. You can watch them on any TV set here. And there's a set in the boardroom. <laughs> Think you might be up for fighting the whistling man? Son! I am 55 years old. If this freak killed Sheriff Matthews, <laughs> I don't like my chances. Maurice, is there any way you can get out of there? Uh, I sure as shit hope so, kid. But I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. That crash you heard was him tipping over my filing cabinets. He's blocking the stairs. Not the filing cabinets. The stairs are the only way out. That's right. 
And it would take me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. We need to do something. But what? All we can do from here is... Forrest, I think I've got it. Why don't we call the killer? They'd have a bunch of phones set up across the office, right? In different rooms, with different extensions. So we call one of them. Draw the killer away. Maurice time. That could work. Exactly. It's worth a shot. I can hear you, you know. The son of a bitch hasn't killed me yet. Yeah, sorry, Maurice. Peggy and I were just trying to figure out... <sighs> you realize how stupid that plan sounds, right? For that to be successful, you're gonna need every phone extension. Plus, a plan of the entire office floor. All delivered while the killer is en route. I've got it. And thank God I've always been cool under pressure. Don't go anywhere. You... You don't think the killer got him, do you? Mr. Russell... I'm here. Freak's going to be here any second, too. Go check your fax machine. Don't... Let me down. Oh no, uh, uh, this one. I'll go pick up that map then. Go, Forrest. I'm going. Fax machines in the office on the other side of the hall. Thanks, Peggy. Be right back. What? Okay. Go to the office on the other end of the hall. Grab the fax from the machine. Easy. Yep. What? Jesus. Let me in. I got it. I'm on my way, whatever your name was. I'm gonna call you old sassy man. Maybe I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> hey, did you get the fax? Yep, brutals. Yes, I have. Mr. Russell? You, uh, you still with us? I am. You get my fax? Yeah, I got it right here. Good. I knew you could at least manage that. Okay, folks, we're back on the line with Maurice. Let's see if we can help him avoid the Whistling Man. Here's the situation. The Whistling Man searched every room in the hall leading up to the boardroom. Oh, I should probably be paying attention. Cole, Cole. Oh, no. <laughs> it's got an achievement for taking so long. Call the archives. Call the archives. The extension is 01. Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. All right, Nash. Where do I need to go? Editor. Oh, God. On uh, second thought. My bad. He's right, Forrest. My bad. I can get another number ready, but we probably won't get to change our minds again. Where do you want me to call? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Call the editor's office. The extension is 03. Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. All right, Nash. Where do I need to go? The kitchen. You're moving to the kitchen. Yeah. That makes sense. Go somewhere he's already checked. Not bad, Nash. I'm ready to place the call. Are you ready, Mr. Russell? Don't have much choice, do I? No, you do not. Make the call. Yes, sir. Calling now. Don't worry, I got it. I can't believe it! He's actually heading to my office! Dude, shut up. Uh, you can thank me later. Don't worry, Maurice. You can thank me when you're safely home. Yeah. Thank you! It's your producer I'll be crediting if I make it through this. The coast is clear. I'm shutting off the TV so he won't see me on the security cameras. Then my move. I'll call when I get there. Bye, Maurice. Do you think he'll make it okay? I'm sure he'll be fine. But now what do we do? Good luck, Maurice. I don't think calling the Whistling Man is gonna buy Maurice enough time to move those cabinets. But it could. think of something else. Maybe Maurice is strong. Maybe we could... Oh! Call incoming. You ready? Ready as I'll ever be. I put him through. Maurice. Alrighty. 
Mr. Russell, are you there? I am. I don't think he saw me. Don't think or know. I've got to give you credit for that, but I'm not out of the woods yet. Uh, right, let's review where we are. So, the only way out is by the stairs, which the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Exactly. I can move the furniture out of the way. But not quickly or quietly. Could you lock him in a room? That'd probably buy you time enough, right? Maybe. But the damn fire regulation say every door in the office has to unlock from the inside. He'd be able to get out just as soon as... Wait. Wait, wait. No. No, no, no. I got it. The secret archive through my office. Where we keep our most sensitive records. Ooh, a secret archive? Reggie would love that. What have you got back there? Juicy secrets about outer space? Peggy, I don't think now's the time to be playing around like that. You're right. Sorry, Forrest. Kids, we're in the big time now. I've got it all figured out. The secret archive. There's no lock on the inside of that room. Only the outside. You can't break out. If we can get him in there, and I lock him in... We can catch the son of a gun. Exactly. Oh my god, Forrest, we might be able to end the nightmare right here. So should I call the secret archive then? You can't. The archive is a room for secrets, not gossip. So we don't have a phone in there. Oh, we're gonna need to change it up then. Any ideas, Forrest? Ah, uh, right, that's me, hold on. Are there no radios at your offices? I don't have one in my office, but... What is it? Our sports reporter, Hopkins. He has a little portable radio he never turns off when he's here. I'm glad you got a radio fan there. Does he listen to 189.16, The Scream? Gallows Creek's best and only late night Colin show. Jesus, Nash. I'd expect that level of self advertisement from Brian Ponty, not you. Don't be a Ponty, Forrest. That's low. Will you idiots focus now? His portable radio should still be here. It should be in the archives, actually. I'll sneak over while our friend is still distracted with his search. I'll call you back once I've got the radio. Somebody get more Risa cough drop. I found the radio! It's right where I thought it would be. It's all coming together. I'm just gonna turn it on quickly, make sure it's still got some juice. No. Maurice, turn the volume down. We don't want that thing blasting just yet. Yeah, yeah, I knew that, Nash. I was just doing that when you yelled at me. The radio works! If I make it out alive, Hopkins might just get that day off he wanted. Eh, he's earned it. Let's do it for Hopkins, Forrest. Wait. Ah, oh, God damn it. If I can't have this stupid thing turned up, how am I supposed to draw the killer? I can't be in the room when it's on, or I'm dead! You just... Oh, that's a good point. Turn it to our channel. But wait! We're the radio! Yeah. We can just be quiet until you're ready. Eh, if you can do that, then... Yeah, sure. 189.16. Now, even when I know something for a fact, I like to double check. But after your earlier self-advertisement, Nash, I don't think that's necessary. I've got the radio on silent, but I'm tuned in. Now, I just need to get to my office. Sounds like we need to make another call, Forrest. Where should we send the killer? Uh... He's there. The boardroom? Call the boardroom. The extension is 04. That might work. The boardroom is fairly close to the editor's office, but we haven't seen the killer go there yet. Are you sure? Where else would he go? Is that his office? Let me have a think again. Call the 
archives? Call the archives. The extension is zero one. The... I'm in the archives. He's so that close could work. Though. The kitchen is far away from the editor's office, but the killer searched it before. Are you sure? Uh. Let me have a think again. No. Call the boardroom. To the, the extension boardroom. Is zero four. That might work. The boardroom is fairly close to the editor's office. I know. But we haven't seen the killer go there yet. Are you sure? I'm... No, but yes. I'm... He's on the move. I'll call you guys from my office in a second. Don't get killed, Maurice. I'm here. The radio's set up in the secret archive. Just give me the signal, and I'll turn it all the way up. Where will you hide in the meantime? I am... Good question. It's under my desk, but uh, you can see under it. I've got a big cabinet, but uh, that'll take me a second to get into. Anywhere else? Uh, not really. There's the secret archive itself, but uh, that's where the kill is going. I could try the cubicles, but they're pretty far away. Your judgment has kept me alive so far, Nash. What do you reckon? Oh god, um... Hide among the cubicles. Alright. Well, this is it. I'm going to go turn the radio up to full blast now. Don't say anything until I've had time to hide. You got it? We know the plan. You can trust us. Here we go. Quick, Mr. Russell, hide in the back room in your office. Forrest, I don't think that was enough time for him to hide. Wait, really? Oh, shit. <laughs> Forrest Dash, you son of a bitch! I told you to... <laughs> Forrest, he's... He's... Out of print. <sighs> Let's put on a song. Give us some time to recover. I think that would be for the best, Peggy. <sighs> Folks, we'll be back soon. If you have any stories about Maurice that you'd like to share, give us a call after this next track. Play a record, Forrest. Shut up. I'm dealing with something. R.I.P. I'm sorry to hear that, Peg. Don't call me Peg. Yeah, sorry. I was just trying to be... It's okay, I know. I'm sorry. I'm defensive about that name. Any siblings? Funny you mention that now. I would also be defensive no. about that name. Hold on. Someone just rang the door buzzer. Really? Think someone needs our help? Maybe. You want to go check it out? Me? Not really. Are you sure you don't want to go? No way. I'm locked up tight in here. I'll pass you the key to the stairs. Gee, thanks, Peggy. The buzzer's on the front door. See you in a bit. Goodbye, friends. Okay. Down to the first floor, then check the door. Why did the key have to make that sound? Also, I'm calling it right now. Peggy's sister is the killer? Wow. That was ominous. Yo, there's more mugs in here. Jeez. Sorry, Barb. I'm just gonna... You, you never got dumped. That never happened. Sorry about that. Oh, God. Barbara, you might have a problem. Map. Ooh, realistic looking horse statue. Interesting. I need a key to get in there. Hell yeah, I do. Play on air. Are we sure? What 
the prick. Okay, I guess I'll go play this now. I'm sure that's got no negative repercussions at all whatsoever. <laughs>